everybody. Welcome to Montreal, Quebec. Hallowed ground in the hockey world. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. Always easy for an Atlantic Division matchup. Just so much history in every of these markets. It's really cool when you go into some of these places to play, to look around the arenas, to look in the city, and you see the connection deep and long into the communities. I loved playing when I was in this division. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Canadians start with possession as we are now underway. Moves inside! Icing the call. Does that drive the coaches nuts here? Oh, it depends. When it's a missed pass, a lazy play, yeah, it does. If you're panicking and you're gassed, you just need to reset. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. The Canadians take possession off the faceoff. Now you get a chance to make something against a tired team. Oh, what a save! Really good effort. I thought it made a, a good play on the net, but the goaltender's right on top of it. Price reads those cross-crease attempts so well, but guys, it's his lateral movement that allows him to get across to make the stop. We call that his post-to-post -post zone ability. Sends a pass over. And a stick break setup. Moves along the blue line. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Feeds it over to Edmondson. The Canadians will play it in their own end. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Gallagher. Looks to set up at the point now. Puts it on net. And the puck dies with the trapper save. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Sends the pass over. One time blast. Whistle blown as the puck is directed out into the crowd and a souvenir for some lucky fan tonight. Tanev's a steady defender who's known to join the rush. Price can steal a game for his team with his skill in net. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. And that's knocked away by Cousins. Takes it at center. Oh boy, here comes a three on one. And he denied that opportunity. Referee Sinkle's penalty coming up here with a delayed call. Quick feed to Saad. And with the delay penalty called, they get the extra attacker out here on the ice. And the whistle stops the play, and someone's off to the box. Boarding the call here, Ray. You like the call? I do. A little vigorous on the hit. He followed through too much. The Bears get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, they certainly hope this game won't be scoreless much longer. Their first chance on the power play. They got their big boys out trying to crack the A. Nice job to escape the zone. St. Petersburg's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Stevenson. And that shot gets caught in traffic. He was locked in there. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. St. Petersburg's got the puck behind the net. Off the left wing and into center. Glove save. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Price holds his position really well here. He's able to make the stop. That's a good scoring chance that he snuffs out. Hollas ready to take the draw here on this power play. Montreal's won the draw. Looking to clear the defensive zone. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Pick 
complete the pass as it goes off a stick. He was totally locked in on that play. And they clear that puck. St. Petersburg's got it from behind the net. Sends it over to Halla. Here's a short pass to Stevenson. Right in the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. The Bears have it now. Moves it quickly over to Halla. Here's the pass. And he comes up with it. And they send it down the ice. St. Petersburg's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Takes the feed. Sends it over. That goes off a twig. The Canadians gain possession. St. Petersburg's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, what another save. Anderson's up with the box. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. St. Petersburg's got it behind the net. The Bears come up empty-handed on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. I like everything about that power play, James, except the fact that they couldn't put it in the net. Everything about it looked really good. Quick pass to Hoffman. St. Petersburg's looking to break out of their own end. And he makes the save. The Canadians will play it from the defensive zone. He's only one goal away from his next real achievement. You know he'd like to get it here. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. Right in the slot! The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. Great pressure with the stick. The Canadians play it along the wing. Block! Oh, he got it away quickly. The puck just doesn't get to the net. St. Petersburg's got a hold of the puck now. And now it's grabbed by Benino. Slides the puck to Cousins. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Suzuki. And sends it just out of reach. The Canadians will play the puck from behind their own net. Look out. And uses the length of... When it is pushing and shot. Yeah, it got heated up pretty quickly. And here we go. pretty much do it. Yeah, that's not going to go to the judges. All right, boys, that's enough. Over to the penalty box and go sit down. Well, with the chaos cleared, face off now for both teams. Hollas won the draw. And that slides right out to center ice. And it's a quick pass to Murray. Now a quick pass to Moore. And that's stolen by Harvey Pinard. St. Petersburg's got the puck behind the net. Across the line from center. Too much traffic in the lane. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Looks for breakout options behind his own cage. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Beautiful block shot by the defender. Price has the puck and holds on for a whistle. Players call this eating the puck. Sometimes you gotta lay down to block a shot. That's a really good play. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The game is still scoreless. The Canadians take possession off the faceoff. Brooks taking it from his own end. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Scoops up the puck here. And they keep the pressure on. There's the whistle, offside is the call, stopping the play. Face off looming as both centers get into position. Play 
resumes as the puck is dropped. The Bears carry it along the wall. And that's stopped by Price. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Paling's won the faceoff. Takes the pass. Petrie swooping in on the attack. The Bears look to start the transition game. And now it's over to Hathaway. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, and I'm sure they'd like a redo on that. Now, lots of work and nothing for it as they don't get the puck on goal. And now he tries to get it across to Murray. Couldn't complete the pass. Offside is the call, but we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. The Canadians win possession here in the open ice. Quick feed to Hoffman. Montreal's got the puck against the boards. Thunderous collision along the wall. Slides it on over to Saad. Puck picked up by Suzuki. They score! Lake Lovia delivered! Well, that's not going to look very good on video when they watch that tomorrow. That turnover's ugly. And it ends up in the top of the net. The Canadians are on the board first here. Does that change an approach now, Ray? Well, it shouldn't change it too much, but then still, you're behind, and now you chase the game a little bit. And they won't connect on that one. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Can't connect on the shot. And that's intercepted by Hoffman. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. The Canadians gain possession along the wall. Montreal's playing it from the side and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Pucks it away in his own end. Goes right to the crease. Comes up with the stop. Gustafson stick handling in his own zone. Moves it to Kajula. Off a stick. Taken by Hinestroza. Moves close to the point. And that's knocked aside with the stick by Harvey Pinar. Can't get it to go. And the linesman calls icing on the play. This is a really good save here. But I think what's important is the goalies and the goalie coaches love that it's not a spectacular one. That's positionally better than the shooter's shot. Montreal's won the draw and they'll go to work. Puck scooped up by Hall. Hinestroza's got it against the boards. Shot down by the blocker. Puck grabbed by Hinestroza. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. St. Petersburg's got possession of the puck. Working the puck deep inside their own end. The Canadians have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Receives the pass. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the boards. Pushes it across to Hinestroza. Slides the puck ahead to Harvey Pinard. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Great reach with the poke check by Halla. Slides the puck over. Shoots it. Blocked in traffic. The Canadians have it now. St. Petersburg's gained possession along the boards. Dismiss that chance. Nice pass. Stopped by the goaltender. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. It seemed like a broken record to the truck here. Yeah, I want to see that again. There's another stop for him. 
Here in the late going of the frame, Montreal's up one zip. The Canadians win the draw. Brooks lugging the puck. Great pass in the left wing. Scooped up along the wall by Cooley. Montreal's got the puck. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Through the neutral zone, it goes to the middle. Great defensive play at center by Stevenson. The first period is all said and done with as the horn sounds. A lone goal is the difference so far through the first 20. It's a 1-0 game. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two. James Sobolski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Period number two is about to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Taken by Benito. Poked away in the defensive end. And now it's grabbed by Hathaway. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Benito. Takes a shot, shuts him down. Great reach by Gustafson. St. Petersburg's got the puck. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a chance. He scores! A quarter of the way to 100, Razor! Yeah, maybe in three years, James. Uh, 25's a pretty good season, you know? Oh, what a play. He slams this out of midair. Touch of all, Grand Slam.
Petersburg's even the score here in the second. I've liked the way they've played this period. They've had pucks to the net, and they look like they've been pretty aggressive. They've now got the equalizer. Nice zone entry from the middle. Here he is. He scores! Breaks the deadlock! Really good play at the net. And now somebody's got a lead, and we'll see if they can increase it. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Montreal's given themselves control of this game now with a one-goal lead in the second. They'd like to get another before they go in for the second intermission. You'd love at least a couple goal lead going into period three. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. And that pass is redirected. Here's a short pass to Suzuki. Moves the puck to Gustafson. Moves it quickly over to Saad. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop. Edmondson's got it in the defensive end. And they send it right back to him. And that's poked away by Tanev. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Price gets on top of the puck, and we'll get a whistle. Everybody on the ice is gassed. He's probably gassed, too. Now you can get a drink of water and reset. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Montreal's got a one-goal lead. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Montreal's looking to break out. And now he moves it quickly to Anderson. Oh, the razzle-dazzle! Sends the pass down low. Strong defensive effort. Quick pass to Halla. Turned aside with the glove. Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Montreal's playing it through center. The Canadians played along the boards. And no luck on that pass attempt. In close! Quick stop by Connery! Fails to find the open man. Oh, they do it again! He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make... Oh, puts it off the iron. Had the side of the net, but doesn't go. Montreal is continually pushing the play. They've got the lead, and this shot hits the post and stays out. Picked off. Great poke check on the reach. Big time stop there. Quick pass over to Gajula. Intercepted. Montreal's ready to go on the attack. Centering pass! Big time save by Comrie! Can't connect on the pass. Moves the puck. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. And he slides it quickly to Bill's Isle. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. And he connects with the long bomb. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it against the wall. And now he moves it to Lorenz. Here's a shot. Big time stop with the glove. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. While well, the goalie's happy, the shooter's not. That shot hits the pipe. It's a perfect shot with no luck involved. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Montreal's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Oh, what a smart heads up play. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. The Canadians win the face-off. Savard's got it across the line. Move to the middle, and they can't finish that one. No, oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. 
St. Petersburg's playing the puck from the blue line. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Handles the puck. Great defensive effort with the stick. Montreal's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to CeCe. From off the boards, takes the feed inside the zone. Gains control of the puck here at the line. And a great save! And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. Past the midway mark in this period. Montreal's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Benino's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. And they continue to apply pressure here. He's got a step, and he easily stops that one. Comrie's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Well, that was a good scoring chance that we get another look at on the replay, James, but the goaltender's in position and makes a really good save on it. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. Here comes the call. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. aware that their penalty kill is ranked toward the bottom of the league. It's something they've been actively working on to improve. And, you know, with the confidence that they showcase, they might be able to turn this thing around and shut down this power play right now. Moves it to Gallagher with the stop. Trying to clear. And his teammate comes up with it. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. And the puck leads the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. The Canadians will play it against the boards. Here's a short pass to Cooley. The Canadians looking against the half wall. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. And that's a great read to force the turnover. And the puck clears the zone. Cooley's got the puck in his own zone. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Hall. Grabbed along the boards by Gustafson. Sends a pass over. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Stretches one out to Stevenson. The Canadians gain control of the puck against the wall. Aaron pass and they can't connect. Montreal's moving it up the ice. And he slides it quickly to Dvorak. Scores! And a milestone goal for him on that one. When you get to 100, it's kind of a nice feeling. And you do start to think ahead. Here he is, 100 past that. Congratulations on his 200th goal. job is to create shots and if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice you're going to be successful dead center in the slot he doesn't miss the canadians have now gone ahead by a pair here in this second stretching out the lead here in the middle frame gives you a little bit more flexibility on the bench the coach can use his whole lineup st petersburg's got it along the wall takes the feed at the point Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. You'll need more than that to beat him. Trying to clear the zone. And the shorthanded unit will be stuck out there still. It's knocked down at the blue line. Yeah, and you run out of gas in a hurry when you're killing penalties. Those are hard minutes on the ice. The Canadians take possession in the defensive end. Poked away at center ice. Here they come, three of them. Moves it quickly over to Gustafson. St. Petersburg's got it in their own zone. 
Here he is in front. Big save. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Foley's close to pulling off a great move there. Just denied in zone. St. Petersburg's got a hold of the puck now. Oh, they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. And that pass can't connect. The Canadians have it now. Quick feed to Toffoli. Up along the wing. Great hits on play with the stick by Hall. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Trying to get it out of their own end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Montreal's moving it along the wing. Stevenson's up and ready to join the play. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Move to the middle. The Canadians run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Really aggressive work by the penalty killers. They shut that power play down without any danger. Takes the feed. St. Petersburg's got it behind the net. Through pass ahead. And that one's broken up. Toffoli's got it along the boards. And now he angles it across to Vendemo. Turns it over. Glenn Denning's got it along the wing. Stopped by the goaltender. Price has had a terrific save percentage tonight. I think James because he's read the play so well. He's on top of the shot before the shooter takes it. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Canadians are up 3-1. Buck has dropped and we are back underway. Maintains possession. And that one's broken up. And now it's over to Belzile. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. That pass doesn't go. The Bears move the puck in the defensive zone. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And now he tries to get it across to Weber. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Tripped up on the play and the referees caught that one. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Saad's going off to the box for two minutes. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve <laughs> his minor penalty. Guys, this PK unit couldn't shut it down once already tonight. They've got another opportunity coming up right now. We know they're ranked toward the bottom of the league, but they've been working hard on this with their coaches. Let's see if they can take advantage of this opportunity. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it along the wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Picked up along the boards by Tanev. Feeds it up ahead. Sends the pass over. To his teammate. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. I'd like to see him be a little bit more direct on the entry into the zone. They haven't got set up, and as a result, they don't really have a shot yet on this power play. Here's a chance in front. Scores! And the power play strikes again. James, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight. Power play cashes in. They move the puck around and get the puck right into the middle of the slot. He makes no mistake from there. Montreal's been pounding them all over the ice tonight. Ray, what's been your assessment? Physically, skating, skill, they've been the better team in any category you want. Puts it in deep. St. Petersburg's got possession of the puck. 
And he loses control of the puck. St. Petersburg's looking like they're simply in survival mode. Called for icing yet again here, Razor. They might be trying to survive, but what they are is really frustrated. They're angry at themselves for this disjointed play. It's frustrating to watch, too. Oh, it's ugly. Second intermission approaching quickly here. And now he passes up to Glenn Denning. Fires it into the offensive zone. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the boards. Quick pass to Halla. Misses over the net. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Puts it to the front of the net. And that one stopped. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. The Canadians don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Trying to slow the opponent down, and he gets burned for it. Interference is the call. Montreal's got it in the defensive zone. And the period has come to an end in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. He's Ray Ferro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's do this. The Canadians win the draw and get their penalty killing unit off to a good start. St. Petersburg's gained possession along the boards. And a smart heads up play to poke that away by Paling. The Canadians gain possession of the defensive zone. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Nice zone entry on the left side. Here he is from the slot. Oh, serves up waffles for dinner with that stop. Shot. Love save made by Price. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Hey, Demo's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. 
The Canadians win the draw. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. The Canadians scoop it up along the boards. Moves into the slot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Sharp reaction save. Quick feed to Halla. Oh, a little cat burglar-like play with the stick. Nicely done. St. Petersburg's got the puck. Takes the feed. Moves it to Saad. Here's a sprint for the loose puck. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Moves it quickly over to Saad. Oh, and that's got the crowd bussing after that stop. Under siege, trying to get it out of their zone. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Here's a short pass to Stevenson. That eyes up on the play. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Price gets out in good position and makes the blocker stop on a good scoring chance. Benino's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes the pass. Cuts into the paint. Denied with the blocker. They work the puck into a scoring spot, get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. St. Petersburg's got the puck in the defensive end. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Gallagher's for... Oh, it goes right up the post! St. Petersburg's effort really has been fine throughout this game, but they're down a bunch. They'd like one bounce to go their way, but not there. Brooks carrying it ahead. The Bears gain possession in their own end. Quick pass to Benino. Receives the pass. And a strong effort on that play. Great hand dive by the goaltender, poking it away. Quick feed to Toffoli. The Canadians take it along the wall. And some good footwork to kick it away. And it's a quick pass to Benino. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. Picked up along the wall by Brooke. Gallagher's moving the puck through his own zone. In all alone! Big time stop on the break! Goalie came out, matched the shooter's speed, and shut down the chance. Directed over to Hidestroza. Hammers a shot! Comes up with the stop. Right on top of that pass, side to side. That puck's got nowhere to go. The Bears go to work on offense. St. Petersburg's working the puck near the point. Denies him again! Great stop by the goaltender again. Back-to-back -back saves. Takes a slap shot from the point. Price hangs on for the whistle, and a much-needed one, I would say, Ray. He's been busy since the first period, but he's been excellent. I've liked the way he's controlled the rebounds, the way that he's given his team a chance. It's been an outstanding night for him. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. A lot of offense in this one, mostly from one side. We've got 4-1 to score. Scrum ensues along the boards. St. Petersburg's got the puck. Murray's got the puck. Moves it to Tanev. Shot! Turns it away. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. Dvorak's won it off the face off. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Look out, a two on one. And there's the save. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Edmondson. Moves it quickly over to Dvorak. Hooked away by Tanev. Gains the zone through center. Taken along the wall by Glenn Denning. From the blue line, 
to take control of it. Puck picked up by Murray. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. Great reflexes, another save. Right spot makes the double save. Positioning does it all. Price had to be sharp on this scoring chance. This time it's the blocker that he turns away. Palings won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Grabs it in his own end. The Canadians will play it from the defensive zone. Skates across the blue line. The Bears take over on possession. Here's a short pass to Stevenson. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Passes on over to Hathaway. Slides the puck across to Paling. And that's poked away. Quick pass to Stevenson. Couldn't complete the pass. Takes a whack but still hangs on. Slides the puck over. Nice pass. It's a two-on-one rush. Big time save on a big time shot. St. Petersburg's in transition. Can't find his man. The Canadians gain control of the puck. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Hathaway. The Canadians will play it in their own end. From one end of the blue line to the other. Just slide to the net. You can go games without a chance from here. Poked away at center by Vatnin. Montreal's lucky to be able to roll out a top line like this. They get into the game and start... Oh, and it goes off the outside of the post. St. Petersburg's looking for a little luck here. I mean, they're down by a bunch. They can't even get a bounce their way. Scooped up along the wall by Henestroza. Hangs on to the puck. And the intensity start to ramp up here after that hit. Hoffman's taking it from his own end. St. Petersburg's on the attack. From the opposite point. Takes the shot. Takes it right in the chest. The Canadians are in transition. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it against the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denies him in front. Penalty coming up. Whistle stops the play. Henestrosa's going off for two minutes here, boarding the call. His complaint is that the player turns, but when you hit him right in the numbers, there's a penalty almost every time. Does the sound augment that call? It does for sure. The official's already looking. He hears the sound. He's making the call. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? Price has helped his team get in the lead in this game, so when it comes to our matchup, guys, I'm giving him the edge. St. Petersburg's got possession here in their own end. The Canadians gain possession along the wall. Great pressure on the offensive end by Murray. The Canadians have it behind the net. Quick pass to Toffoli. And the puck departs the zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Toffoli. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Tanev. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. Montreal's got possession at center. Savard's gonna play it against the half wall. Denies him, he got all of it! And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Pittsburgh's in the on-deck circle for the next game for these guys. Now, one aspect that doesn't get talked about, James, is while you're playing the game today, previously the assistant coaches are already breaking down video. They've got the power play and the penalty kill all queued up for the next game and the game after that. It's an odd goal. He scores! Three goals. The hat trick's in the bag. Here come the hat. What a great feeling as this place is jumping. Well, that works its way into the net. This puck goes right past the goalie, but he thought he had it. Doesn't quite get enough of it.
The Canadians have not stopped the firepower display tonight. You impressed down there? It's like they're going downhill the whole game. It, uh, their opponent hasn't been able to keep up at any level tonight. Broken up by Gustafson. Sends it quickly to Glenn Denning. They've got some momentum here. And they won't connect on that one. Tees it off. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Here in the late goings of the period, the Canadians are on the cusp of making this a blowout, leading by four. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Gets the puck over to Suzuki. Quick feed to Toffoli. Makes the glove stop. Comrie's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Comrie's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Canadians have it now. Moves the puck. Dvorak's got it into offensive territory. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. Savard stick handling in his own zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Quick pass across to Kasha. Here's a chance. Shuts him down. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. St. Petersburg's got a hold of the puck now. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Anderson's lugging the puck. And as we hit the final minute of this one, that has been a one-sided affair. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Oh, he keeps it out with a great reactionary stop with the toe. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. The Bears have it against the wall. Into the offensive end now. Here he is in front! Oh, how did he keep that one out? What a save! And that clangs off the iron! St. Petersburg's night isn't getting any shorter. They're down big, and that shot hits the post. Here's a shot! Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Moves it to Moore. No one home on that play. Find some space in the corner. And that carries off a stick! There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Price deals with his high danger chance rather efficiently. That's a great save. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. Final horn sounds bringing this one to an end. Gallagher's team gets the win, and a big part of that, his hat-trick performance. He's so good when he gets the puck on his stick. He's got a real sense of when to, to deliver it, and he was lights out tonight. They're feeling good about this one, and here they come back out onto the ice, Razor. Unreal support from their fans. They salute them a thank you for their efforts tonight. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray, I'm James. Good night.